guest is never at a loss for words, which is why I love her so much. Please welcome the always funny Kathy Griffin. <laughs> Are you? Yeah, because I thought it'd be more powerful. It, it smells good. <laughs> uh, head to toe, you always give great fashion. Well, it's about the shoes. Let's give Kathy some shoe okay, cam. Okay, give me a shoe cam. Yeah. Yes. Right. Oh, wait. Put your, put your foot in what, the frame. Where, where's, okay, there, there. All right, there it is. Yeah. Um, and, and I like the hair. I mean, I haven't seen you in a long time. Well, Normally, some of it's my hair, some of it is magic. Yes. Some gay men flew from heaven and put it in. But it's good. I, I've never seen you with the flat. Do yeah. You, do you like the flat? Yeah, but I can't keep it. Like if I'm working in Florida or something like that. Yes. So in a controlled environment. Yeah. Yes. I'll go straight. <laughs> so congratulations, you're playing Carnegie, Carnegie Hall. Carnegie Hall Friday That's night. Huge. That's huge. Is this your first time? Because I thought I saw you yes, play there I, on your reality that's true. show. Well, first of all, you're invited on Friday. But, Thank you. But that's true. But uh, I played there before. It's magical. I mean, I just want everyone to know it's not Pavarotti. It's not the Mormon Tabernacle Choir. It's an evening of vulgarity. So come with an open mind. Oh, my people. My people. And I should also let you know that um, I um, am trying to get another Grammy nomination for my latest comedy CD called Calm Down Girl. And I did some artwork I think you might enjoy. Okay, let me see. Oh. Yeah. Now, yeah. Uh, tell me about Miley Cyrus in the background photobombing you. Look, first of all, <laughs> I'm not above a cheap plug. I am not above whatever hair is on my head yes. right in that photo. I know, I love it. And that I am not much... above just putting naked Miley behind me. Uh huh. And if that is what makes you vote for me, then fine. But if you're distracted by her nakedness in Doc Martens on a wrecking ball, still vote for me. It's all about where's your head, where's the yes. focal point. So this will be your sixth Grammy if you win. If I have been, I have been nominated five times in a row for best comedy album. I have never won, and oh. only two women have won in the history of oh. the Grammys: Whoopi and Lily Tomlin. And so I would, of course, love a gal to take it home. But, um, but by the way, right? Come on. But let's talk about Miley because I'm very into the new slutty Miley. Very, in, yes. I'm all for naked Miley. Well, you've known her for a while because you yes. worked with Rock the Vote with her. Yeah, correct? it was really fun to work with her. And I've, I was mean, she I've, Hannah Montana back then? No, oh, no. Oh, when, she, I, when she was Hannah Montana, she didn't like. I think her like team didn't want her to be around me because I'm a bad influence. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and um, and now she uh, is really fun, and she's got that Susan Powder stop the insanity haircut. Yes. Uh -huh. Remember that Susan yes. Powder stop mm -hmm. the insanity? Okay. Well, Miley didn't know. She's like, who's that? I don't watch those kind of videos. I work on my house. You know, so, but her voice, her speaking voice is amusing to me because she's a good singer, but she talks like this. She shouts all the time. It's me, <laughs> But I enjoyed working with her. Yes. Now, uh, I understand you're very big in the hip hop community now. Okay, I want to talk to you it's about this. Okay. Now, I don't know, first of all, I don't know if you know I'm in a love triangle. There, yes, there is a rapper named ASAP Rocky. Yes. Uh -huh. And there he is, and he is in love with me. Oh, okay. So he reached out to me, he and his friend Danny Brown, who's another rapper. Danny, by the way, is in a, what I call a teeth optional situation. <laughs> and they made teeth a really optional. cute video and we, about- Well, we have it, so we're All right. gonna take a look at this video. Okay. Go, oh, Kathy Griffin, Who that? <laughs> the lady from Family Guy? <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on. Who, who the f is that? <laughs> Kathy Griffin got a fatty. <laughs> yeah, that's all like this. <laughs> Yo, wait, who the f is Kathy Griffin? The comedian. Bro, bro. All right, you remember the Eminem Slim Shady video? Which one? I'm Slim Shady, a real the Slim yeah. Shady. Remember the that oh, played the, the big nose? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, 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 yeah, I that too. That type of bitches I like. She not that old though, bro, bro. Yo. Okay. okay. It's just so funny. They're sitting there. Look. They are sitting there, looks yeah. like Puff and Chiba. Yeah. And talking about would they do you? Yes, and it turns out that I'm wavy. And yes, they want to tap my fatty. 
Now, and, and, so, and I heard that you have since become friends with yes, ASAP Rocky and I've, have invited him to your house. Yes, I actually have become friends with uh, Rocky. And um, I went to see his show. He opened for Rihanna on her world tour and stuff. And he came over to my house. And um, what's funny is he, now I don't travel with a hype man. But um, there he is at my house. And you can tell he's hitting on me, by the way. And where's and your boyfriend? Where's your boyfriend? My though? boyfriend's livid about this. My boyfriend is in, gonna be in some sort of a ghetto turf war about this. Do, because... you, do you still live in the beautiful house that we'd seen yes, on the reality Yes, I live in that beautiful show? mansion. You oh, invite there's... a lot of people to your house. Yeah. Do you ever get worried about bumps in the night? I mean, are you? Are yes, you, are, of course. I'm a nervous Nelly. I hear single? every sound, but that's why that's why I have my 93 year old alcoholic mother Maggie in the guest room. Okay. And I'm gonna throw her like, take her, take her. You know what I mean? <laughs> She'll be drunk. She doesn't know. So, um, have you been following anything Justin Bieber? All of like, it. All of it. What's I'm, your thought? I'm, look, A, I'm a believer. B, I'm over it. Like, I'm both. I'm, I have the music, but I'm also, first of all, the video of him, you know, in the middle of Boyfriend, which is one of my favorite songs by him, and someone throws the water bottle, and he's like, I'm out. That is so funny to me as a comedian. Like, if you, he would never laugh in a comedy club for two seconds. Tell like, me about it. That is a normal Friday night for me. Yes. I mean, yeah, they... all right, it's not going to happen at Carnegie Hall, but, you know. So, no, he's out of control. And then what's going on with, do I have to have Rocky have a talk with Lil Twist and Lil Za? I, those are his I mean, sidekicks. What's going on with the Lils? <laughs> and he's got the Ferrari painted like a cheetah or something from the Kardashian collection. I don't, <laughs> who's painting his cars like wild jungle animals and driving around Calabasas, the whitest neighborhood in Los Angeles? I mean, I'm calling BS on all of it. Well, and you know I love a wigger. Somebody has. I to love a wigger. <laughs> I I'm bringing that word back. I love the white suburban kid who thinks he's black and he's like, Yo, girl, what's up, yo? And the Beebs. And Beebs is Canadian, which is worse. It's worse. So I love when he like grabs his, you know, I think the whole thing is funny to me. And he's got the K-Fed like wickety whack sideways cap. Remember when K-Fed thought he was black? Yes. Yeah, Beebs is the new K-Fed. <laughs> I have no loss for words. Never this in a loss why, for words. This is why we love to have you here. Look, so tell me, okay, so you and your boyfriend is 18, 18 years younger than you. Yes, I, my birthday was, yeah, I know. Wavy, wavy. Are you guys are you guys living together? No, he still has his own place. Mm -hmm. He stays at my house primarily, but he's got his own place. Yes. I kind of like that he has his own place. Yes. I think that's good, you know? Well, just in case, but you guys have been going strong for like, what, two Over years? Over two years, yeah. Good for you. Are you uh, marriage? I don't think so, but I, I think it's different because I, you know, I think when you don't want to have kids, it's different. So yes. for me, I don't really see the point to getting married. I was married. I was divorced. Oh, I, we remember. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. right. We all, can we collectively? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I remember too. Every day I remember. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I'm sorry. Where was I? Well, well now um, we... love is beautiful. Love, love is beautiful. Good for you. Listen, she's not going to go anywhere. Up next, we're going to put we're going to put Kathy in the hot seat. Yeah. Don't miss it. We're back with Kathy Gr Kathy Griffin, and she's brave enough to take our hot seat. So let's uh, let's see if she can really stand the heat. I'm looking forward to it. Well, Kathy, I'm, I live in the kitchen. Here we go. This is your 40 degree question. Okay. What celebrity hit on you? that, uh, th oh, excuse me, what celebrity did you hit on that rejected you? Jerry Springer. I swear to God, yeah. Well, on account of Mrs. Springer. Well, I didn't know there was a Mrs. Springer. I know, he doesn't I thought I was gonna be Kathy Springer. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you were ready with that, quick. <laughs> All right, um, here's your 60 degree question. Okay. Who's the stupidest celebrity you've ever met? Kim Kardashian. <laughs> Here's your 80 degree question. Okay. If you were a wizard and could make one celebrity disappear, who would it be? Oh, Kim Kardashian. <laughs> wizard. I mean, it's been enough. It's been enough already. It is I'm just enough. saying, it's enough. It's yeah. been a lot. It's uh -huh. been a lot of Kim. Uh, okay, here's your 100 degree question. All right. What celebrity couple would you like to join in the bedroom? All right. Just keep an open mind because you know I'm always looking for material. Charlie Sheen and Brooke Mueller. <laughs> and that wouldn't be for the sex, it would be for the for pure the material. observation. It was just to hear like their rants and winning, winning. And... 
Kathy's always enjoyable. Don't forget she's performing here in New York City at Carnegie Hall.